time for a big old person pleaser thing party. Our first player is Christina, and her favorite person is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Our second player is Charlotte, and her favorite place is Pacific Beach, California. And our third player is Daryl, and his favorite thing is craft beer. And now she's got all the style and grace of Audrey Hepburn's pet horse, Melissa Peterman. I'll have you know, Jamie, that thunder was the beauty inside and out. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, where great questions and a sharp mind can send you home with cash and prizes. And joining me today is a very sharp threesome who are here today to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. And back for a third consecutive day is our returning champion, Daryl, who has already won a hotel stay in the Sonoran Desert and is hoping to make it back into that final round to win that $5,000. But Charlotte and Christina might have something to say about that. So let's get started. In our first round, we're gonna play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions and I will be giving you clues. Let's go. Hello, Daryl. Welcome hey, back. Thank you. Third time's a charm, huh? That's what they say. We shall see if they are right. <laughs> um, we're going to kick this off with our place category. Okay, we're going to start off with a place. And I have the best clue for all of you because this place is on the map. It's on the map. Is this place, I have to do it, in the Eastern Hemisphere? No. It is not in the Eastern okay. Hemisphere. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I, well, you, I heard that you have a daughter named Melissa, too. I do have a daughter named Melissa Honeybee. Oh, see, that's right. It means honeybee. <laughs> um, well, Charlotte, I want to hear. Your favorite place is it's Pacific Beach, California? Pacific Beach. Why? Because it's easy to get to. Yes. And it's a little golden nugget. Okay. I do, and I have a little spot that I go to, and I bring all the little beach stuff. I set it up and I just watch the waves. And sometimes there's some whales and dolphins and things really? out there too. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, Pacific Beach. I, we yes. will. They. We won't tell anyone else. Tell okay. Nobody else. Tell nobody else. <laughs> well, I hope today it becomes one of your favorite places and you have a good time. Oh, thank you, Melissa. So we're talking about uh, a place right now. This place mm -hmm. is on the map, and it is not in the Eastern Hemisphere. Okay. Is it in um, North America? Yes. It is. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you, Christina? Great. How are you? I'm great. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, too. That was such a right? great show. Such a great show. What do you love most about her? Oh, my gosh. Just how she just kicks ass every single episode. Yeah. Well, let's try to um, kick ass this episode. Uh, we're talking <laughs> about a place. It is on the map and mm. not the Eastern Hemisphere, but in North America. Is it in America? Yes, it is. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you get it right, you got 100 points, but if you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. This place is home to the Dumbo and Flatbush neighborhoods. Daryl. Brooklyn? It is Brooklyn! All right, 100 <laughs> points to you. Charlotte, you are going to kick off our next category. And this category is our thing category. And Charlotte, well, everyone, I'm gonna tell you, this thing is an animal. Does this thing have four legs? No. Mm -mm. Christina. Is this thing a sea animal? Yes. Terrell. Is this animal a mammal? No. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This animal has three hearts to pump its blood. Christina. Is it a whale? It is not a whale. That means you're out until I give another clue. Charlotte, you said you've been out to Pacific Beach. Does it have a fin? No, it does not. Christina, you are out until I give another clue. Daryl. Is it an octopus? Octopus. You have 200 <laughs> points and are in the lead. Christina, your turn to kick off this next category. And this is our person category. And I can tell you, this person is an actor. Hmm. Is this person alive? Yes. Person is alive. Daryl. Is this person known 
primarily for movies? Yes, primarily movies. Charlotte. Is this person African-American? No. Ready for a clue? Yes. Here we go. Buzzer's out. He starred in Knives Out and the girl with the dragon tattoo. <laughs> Daryl? Daniel Craig. Yes! Well done. We just swept that round. We got a great game here. Daryl, our returning champ, is in the lead with 300 points. Charlotte and Christine are not on the board yet. But next up, we got more great clues and even greater questions. Come on back to person, place, or thing. I'm Melissa. Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you will not only meet today's super fan, Corian, but you're also going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Just like Buffy, she kicks ass every single episode. That's Melissa Peterman. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Welcome back. Daryl just swept that first round. He's got 300 points. Charlotte and Christina not on the board yet, but. Let's see what happens in round two. We're gonna play round two the same as our first round, except we double the points, and you get to pick the category that we are playing. Charlotte, I'm coming over to you, and I'm gonna let you pick. What do you wanna play, Charlotte? Person, place, or thing? Well, Melissa, I wanna play thing. You wanna play thing. Okay, Charlotte. I can tell you this thing is a musical instrument. Does this instrument have strings? No, does not have strings. Question, Christina. Is this an instrument you would find in an orchestra? No, not typically in an orchestra. Daryl. Is this thing considered a percussion instrument? No, it is not. Get your buzzers out, time for a clue. Remember, these are worth 200 points. This brass instrument has no valves or keys. Daryl. Is this instrument a bugle? It is a bugle. It's a great job, you got 200 <laughs> points. 500 to you, Daryl, great job. Christina, your turn to pick. What category do you want to play? You no, know, let's go with a person. Let's go with a person. Let's do, let's do this. This person is a musical artist. Is this person a man? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You seemed exhausted when you said that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about Is this just... person a man? <laughs> There's a story there, Christina. Yeah. We'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> Daryl. Is this man, this male musical artist still alive? Yes. Mm hmm Charlotte. Is this musical artist under 40? No. Mm-mm. Okay, time for a clue. Buzzer's out. This person's 2004 debut album, Get Lifted, led to him winning three Grammys. Okay, time is up. That didn't help you. Christina. Get Lifted. Get Lifted. Gosh, is this a, is this a country music star? No. Hmm. Not a country music artist. Uh-uh. Hmm. Daryl? Um, is this person a rock and roll artist or rock artist? No. Mm-mm. Charlotte. Is this artist a gospel artist? No. But I see where you were going with that. All right, time for a clue here. He was the first black American man to reach EGOT status. <laughs> Okay, that didn't help. Okay, Christina. Yeah. That didn't help you, did it? No. Is he also an actor? Well, yeah, he's gotta be, and that was a stupid question, but I guess we've gotta go with it. <laughs> if, he won, if he won an Oscar. Well, uh, that's not a stupid question at all. There's no stupid questions here, okay? Uh, and but the, the answer is, yeah. no, that's not, I promise <laughs> you. So is he an actor? I'm gonna say no. No, not really. Not really. Would I wouldn't consider him. You wouldn't know him by that. Okay. Okay. So that's right. a great question. It's helpful. Okay. Daryl. Is this person a rapper? No. Charlotte. Is this person Lionel Richie? No. But a phenomenal guess. Okay. Time for a clue. Get the, your buzzers out. This is your last clue 
for this person. He dedicated his song, All of Me, to his wife, Chrissy Teigen. Charlotte. Oh my God. Christy Teigen, oh my God, I know him. Time is up. Oh. Time is up. Okay, um, well, that was it. Oh. That was it. So, oh. okay, did you get it? Did it come to you now, Charlotte? Yeah, it's, um, he was just, he was, oh my God, this is crazy. I know, Daryl remembers know this from the Lisa Kudrow <laughs> round over there. <laughs> okay, is, I know does anyone, was... anyone, do we want to shout it out? Christina, do you want John to try? Legend, right? John, John Legend, right? Oh. John, John Legend. Legend. John Legend. Oh. I knew you knew it, and it was yeah, just. Yeah, it was just right oh. there. I just had a mind fart. But it does happen all the time. Mind <laughs> oh farts God, happen all the time oh here. Ask Daryl about it. It yeah. does happen. Yeah. It was a wonderful John Legend, which I love that song yeah. so very much. Okay, all yeah. right. No points for anybody on that one. Mm -hmm. And Daryl, last but not least, your turn to pick the category. What would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Let's do place. Let's do place. This place is a country. <sighs> is a country, okay? Oh, I, do I think what you're going to ask? <laughs> is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Is it in the <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Hemisphere? Do you, is that how you gauge everything? Like when you and your girlfriend are going out to dinner and like, and they get, no, I don't even need to get directions. Is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Well, um, that might be like, is it in East LA? You know? Right, right. Well, this is not in the Eastern Hemisphere. Okay. okay, this country not in the Eastern Hemisphere. Charlotte. Is it in Africa? No, it is not. Christina. <laughs> Is it in South America? Nope, it is not. Time for a clue. Buzzers out. It is bisected by a man-made canal. Christina, what is Cuba? No, it is not Cuba, which means you're out until I give another clue. Daryl? Is it Panama? <laughs> it is! <laughs> Okay, another fabulous round. Daryl, you continue to dominate, but you know what? Anything can still happen. We got a great game. Daryl has got 700 points. Charlotte and Christina not on the board yet, but up next, we're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Welcome back to person, place, or thing, but who cares if our hearts go out? We've got spares. We got three, just like an octopus. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great game here. Daryl has been dominating. He's got 700 points. Charlotte and Christina not on the board, but we all know this 90 seconds can change this game upside down. It is time for our speed round. So get your buzzers ready. Get your buzzing fingers flexible, ready to go. I'm gonna read a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. When you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you're out until the next category, okay? It's anybody's game. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock. Okay, I just hope there's no man in this round. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, players. Time starts now. This annual event takes place in Alaska. Um, Daryl. Dog sled race. No. The indigenous language name of this event translates to distant place. This race is approximately 1,000 miles long and takes several days to complete. This is the premier event in the sport of dog sled racing. Anyone? I did it, Rod. This place spans over 650 miles. Its name references the ocean it runs along. This road is also known as California State Route 1. It passes through Malibu. Daryl. Pacific Coast Highway. Yes. This one named star played a coach on the sitcom A Different World. This comedian defeated Dennis Miller on Star Search in the 1980s. He fought Arnold Schwarzenegger for a toy in the film Jingle All the Way. Daryl. Sinbad. Yes. This city in Northern England was once a major textile industry hub. Its United soccer team has a massive worldwide fan base. Daryl. Manchester. Yes. This person is a television executive and host. He helped develop the Real Housewives franchise and host its reunion shows. Charlotte. Blake. Time is up. He was America's first openly gay late night talk show host. Most weeknights you can see him on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live. Anyone? Oh, Andy Cohen, this yes. food originated in Hawaii. Its ingredients often include rice, vegetables, Daryl. Okay. Yes, this thing is a media franchise that began as a toy line. Its original products were Japanese me- Anyone? Transformers? Transformers. 
Cheers. Yeah. Great job, everybody. Uh, you did great. But you know what? You were on fire today, Daryl. You were going on to play our <laughs> final <laughs> round. Charlotte, I loved having you. Christina, I loved having you. I'm not going to send any of you ladies home empty-handed. So, Jamie, tell them what they've got. Crumble Cookies is the fastest growing cookie franchise in the world. Home with a weekly rotating menu and its award-winning milk chocolate chip cookie, Crumble serves gourmet cookies big enough to share with your friends and family. Treat yourself to some happiness with Crumble. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy that prize. Congratulations, Daryl. I believe this is our first shutout ever on Person Placer thing. <laughs> Only one on the board. And yeah. moving on to play for $5,000 in our yeah. final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. All right, stick around to see if Daryl's going to win that $5,000. We're going to be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. Trip by Wyndham Times Square South in the heart of Midtown. This stylish boutique hotel features spacious rooms and easy access to Broadway, Times Square, and Central Park. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. Standing here with Daryl, who is about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie. Tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Daryl, you have been here a couple times now. I have. You know what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You've got to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want. You can ask as many yes or no questions as you need. Guess as many times as you desire. And as always, always. Daryl, I got gotcha. you. I got three clues for you. Make sure you use them, okay? You yeah. correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing. You're going to get that $5,000, and we're going to give our super fan, Corey, in $500. Are you ready? Yes. Your person is a U.S. president. Your place is an international province, and your thing is food. Where would you like to start, Daryl? We're going to change it up. Go with person. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. I hope you feel like a big man, Daryl. You know, you could at least let them have a little go at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you, Daryl. Time starts now. Are they alive? No. Are they before Eisenhower? Yes. Um, Roosevelt? No. Uh, Kalu. This person's face is on Mount Rushmore. Oh, uh, Theodore Roosevelt. No. Um, uh, Thomas Jefferson. No. George Washington. No. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. International what? province. Um, is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? No. Uh, it's in America. It's in North America. Yes. Um, is it uh, Puerto Rico? No. Uh, Guam. No. Um, Would you like a clue? Clue. The capital city of this Canadian province is Toronto. Ontario. Yes. Your thing is food. Food. Is it a uh, fast food? Uh, no. Dessert. No. Would you like a clue? Clue. According to VegetablesFact.net, the average person eats over 10,000 of these vegetables in their lifetime. Potato. No. Carrot. Yes. 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 Third time's a charm. It's true. It's true! Oh, Daryl, you did it! You just won $5,000. You got Abraham Lincoln, yes. Ontario, and Carrot. And you get to come back again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Corian and Clinton, North Carolina! You just won $5,000. Thanks for being our super fan, and thanks for playing. And you too can become a person, place, or thing super fan by going to the website below. Do you want to say goodbye for us today? Okay. You gotta do it. We'll see you next time. This person, okay? <laughs> no, no, this person wants you to come back to this place and do this thing. That's right. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Corian. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.